Okay. Hello, gender queer chat. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so this is Thursdays with Jan, and today we have a special guest. My name is Masha. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best friend Masha visiting from NorCal, and so she's here for Thanksgiving, and we're going to my grandma's house after, so I thought that we, she needs to be in the video. <laughs> um, so today's topic is kids and gender, and talking to kids about gender. <laughs> I'm an aspiring school psychologist, so I have... <laughs> Masha is going to have good input, maybe. A word or two to say, perhaps, maybe. Yeah, and I've talked about Masha in my videos before. This is my own personal therapist. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so talking to kids about gender, describing your gender to kids, and what if their parents are around. Um, so I was going to tell a story really quickly. Um, my friend who is a really liberal parent, Kate, who Masha knows as well, is actually Masha's friend, who I stole. <laughs> I can have my friends. Okay. <laughs> um, so Kate has two daughters, and this was the only time I was asked by a kid around their parent about my gender, um, and I was giving one of their daughters a piggyback ride, like this, mm -hmm. and this was during Pride. We were walking around, and her daughter Persephone was like, Uh, Jan, are you, are you a boy? Did she call you Jan or Jan? No, she called me Jana. But, you know, <laughs> for sake of the, it, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure what her kids call me now. But Uncle Jan. Uncle Jan. Yeah, that's, oh, that's also another issue that I need to bring up, is Dennis possibly having children, and whether uncle I'm an uncle or an aunt. I don't know yet. Wait, she pregnant? No. Okay. 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 That. Veronica's five months pregnant. Yes, that, okay. sorry. This is, this is why we need to <laughs> talk about kids, because people at our age are popping babies, and Masha and I are we terrified. We grew up with these people, and it's kind of weird. Yeah. I guess it's normal, but maybe we're just weird. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a little special. Um, so, yeah, I turned around and looked at my friend Kate. Uh, do to the s motion. Oh, okay, <laughs> but the motion was this, okay. You can so I did, cut off your I had baby, like, baby. <laughs> Okay. I'm the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the <baby> legs. <laughs> okay, so I had the baby. Nana, are you a boy? <laughs> and I said, Kate. And my friend Kate was like, Would you like to be Kate? <laughs> <That's very Puffy. laughs> and my friend Kate said, um, Well, Jan is a BOI boy. So, come back screen. That was really cool because, and, and the, the, her other little daughter, Elizabeth, was just like, oh, I, I always forget that. And so I told them that was okay. But that was the only instance, and it was really cool because my friend's brother is actually also trans, so she has same a little- Same friend. Same friend, same friend, thank you. Okay. Um, so she, she's really open and she has some experience with this. And then- And she herself is not. And she's also queer, so, uh, and she's also LGBTQIA blah blah she's not uh, a therapist. therapist. <laughs> and baby Persephone may or may not be queer. Oh yeah, and the little one might be queer too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. She thinks her mom might be a little queer, but. but Whose mom? But denying it, Kate's mom. Oh, oh, okay. So I lucked out. I was in a good place. <laughs> um, let's see, another... It's a little cold out. It's um, pretty freezing. <laughs> I do like the, the wind affecting me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so really quickly, this is... Okay, 4.15. We have 15 minutes, by the way. Um, is your mother dressed? No, no, 15 minutes for the video. Oh. The mother's at the grandma's. Um, Another time when gender stuff comes up and it's really uncomfortable is when I'm working on team projects and we have to work with a group of kids. So now, for example, I think a few of my videos ago I mentioned I was going to go work with the children's and we were doing a vertical gardening project and we had to come up with games for them. And so we had to work with a whole group of kids. Thankfully, they didn't ask me about my gender because that would have been really awkward since my team of people 
had no idea about anything. And then I would have just kind of froze, probably. Um, yeah, kids seem to ask me about piercings first. They ask me if my parents let me get piercings. <laughs> <laughs> and then they ask me about my age, so apparently I look like I'm 15. Um, but potential answers, a few that people have brought up in their videos, I think coming back with a question like Steph had mentioned, or Stefan had mentioned, um, like what do you think is a good approach? Also saying something that's a little more vague, like, well, I, I'm more like a boy uh, without giving them a direct answer, or I'm kind of, I'm more like a, a boyish girl or a girly boy, that's also an approach. Um, more approaches. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? This is where we um, could kind of brainstorm together. Well, if you have time for like an actual explanation, you can just start the whole deal with how um, gender identity and sexuality are both on a continuum, and some people feel like they're more a girl or more a boy, and then there's you know, yeah, all the everything in the middle, and that we're taught that we're supposed to be one way or the other. These are smart kids we're talking to. Yeah, these are very smart kids. Yeah, but I think every kid <laughs> understands the concept of a line and dots along the line, so that, yeah. that, or a circle, whatever. Well, yeah, you would use, like, yeah, visuals. age-appropriate age language and... Yeah, and I think also bringing up just the word transgender so it's in their vocabulary, like, if they're of middle school age might be a good idea, too, just so that when they encounter kids who are transgender, they would have heard the term before. Yeah, so, and you have to take into account your audience, like where, what the background is, you know, are you in some middle of America state, or are you in San Francisco or Humboldt County, where it's yeah. a lot more common. I think if I was in Humboldt, I would just say, well, I'm kind of like a flower. <laughs> well, in the uh, high school I work at, there's like uh, a there's a community of transgender kids and they have a little club and they're really open about That's it and they, they get, you know, support. So, I don't know. Yeah, it depends on where you are. This is true context. It's important. It's a very liberal place, though. Yeah. Um, other than that, my, my brother, who hopefully won't hear me as I say this, is planning maybe children and I don't know if I'm going to be an uncle or an aunt or what. So that'll be interesting. Uncle. I'll be I'll be a Z. We can we can start it as Uncle and Masha. And, and then, then it'll be an <laughs> Oh, okay. So <laughs> before I finish this video, <laughs> my my grandmother got me the most amazing souvenir ever. If my brother, brother comes, here. tell him that we're recording something. I thought that I would share my calendar. My grandmother is very worried about my sex life. This is what Yana is supposed to strive for. This is what I'm supposed to strive for. <laughs> Let me get so to my it's favorite out there one. So for women and for men. There are these ideal Okay, this is my favorite one. That is... Notice the not, wet pants. Not sexy at all. That is way. not sexy. Okay. And then... So, oh, oh my goodness, the dogs are The here. dogs are okay. here. Okay. And so... Masha and I are all dressed up for our Thanksgiving dinner and we had a little reveal. <laughs> Let's just make sure... That Nope, the, bro the brother's not there. So, I was gonna show you my rooster underpants and Masha has a disco ball bra. I have a disco ball bra. ball bra. We wanted to shock the grandma. So, let's Hopefully see. Hold on. We'll, we'll keep this appropriate. Dennis, we're recording something here, so give us a Go second. Away. <laughs> disco ball! Hold on. And I have... Festive... Okay, make sure this is on screen. Festive underpants. Hold on. Hold okay. On. Is it on screen? Yes. There's a rooster on the butt. It's a cock. Cock a cock <laughs> on your butt. So, um, we're off to be appropriate. We got the grandmother. Well, Masha brought the grandmother a huge bottle of Manishevich, so we will probably For be Russian very Jewish soon. family tradition dinner. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> See you all next week, and hope everyone's doing well. Yes. And yes. Goodbye. <laughs>